Hi guys, welcome back. I look so cute on camera. Period. Y'all like the new hairdo? Do y'all like the new hairdo? It's giving grown, sexy, classy, and that bitch. Simple as that. Period. As I feel like I've been doing sit down videos for the longest time ever, and I feel like I've been saying that for a long time, but I don't know. I'm so backed up on content, I don't know which video is coming after what. I know this video right here is coming out tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day because I'm filming it tonight because my other videos they're not done yet like they're filmed and everything but they're just so long that i don't have time to edit them in one night it's always quality over quantity because i'm not gonna get y'all this bomb ass vlog and then you know edit it terribly i'm not doing that so therefore i'm gonna give y'all a nice little juicy story time so yes y'all heard the title correctly i'll be giving y'all a story time on how i almost went to jail at 14. well i've almost went to jail a couple of times but that's a story for a whole nother day but if you guys didn't watch my story time when i did the oh when i snuck a boy in my house story time go watch that one because i've I kind of mentioned me almost getting arrested but there's been a couple other times i almost got arrested as well but this time they was not playing with me they was like no like we're about to arrest you so i'm gonna just give y'all this whole little story or whatever um i don't condone doing anything i don't condone none of this i want to tell y'all this story i am a good role model parents if you're watching this with your child i am a really good person i have changed tremendously ex ex your child or whoever's watching this video that i've literally changed my life around for the better i am a aesthetic student i am a business owner an entrepreneur i'm i'm all the above okay i'm currently in my shop right now i just got done waxing so many people today has been a long ass day for me i've done a back treatment i've done an eyebrow wax i've did waxes all day like my feet my body everything is hurting i just came with to go home getting my bed eat and just relax until thanksgiving i'm gonna edit this video in the morning because i do not play on it tonight but i'm gonna go ahead and get right into the story because i don't feel like having much to edit i just want to the story on here okay all right y'all so here's a story time on how i almost got arrested so i believe i was like about 14 or 15 i was in ninth grade y'all know my ninth grade gear i was just all over the place child i was testing the waters i was doing everything Literally under the sun that I could possibly think of. Besides doing like drugs. I was not doing drugs. I smoked weed a couple times. But I was never doing like drugs or something like that. And I, to this day I don't smoke weed. Like I hate smelling weed. It's just not my cup of tea. But if you smoke marijuana that's on you. That's, that's your business. But I'm just saying me personally. I just can't get to you with that. It was one day in school. It was me and my old boyfriend. The same boyfriend who I told y'all this story about the, when I was sneaking in the house. So, me and this boy, we have gotten in trouble so much together. Like, we was like, I want to say Bonnie and Clyde, but like, it wasn't on that type of level. Like, we, was, we used to just do every single thing together. Like, good, bad. We used to do everything together. It just didn't end up working. Like, you know, some little ninth grade, middle 10th grade little kid stuff. One day in school, I don't remember what day it was, but we used to always skip school. Why? Ninth grade. We're kids like you know who gives a fuck that's that that was my mindset like who gives a fuck i want to skip school people skip school all the time i'm not going to get caught my dumb man's got caught it always takes me like i always look at things like they can do it so so can i but watch it be me who god make the example out of like no you can't do shit like scammers that money be looking good don't get me wrong i'll be like watch if i was to put myself in a situation like this for me to do it watch god make an example out of me and i'd be on the shade room getting for getting locked up for fraud or something like that and i'd be like you know what it's it's not worth it it's not worth it but god tends to make an example out of me for the decisions that i make i be thinking it can't happen to me and what happens oh he shows me a couple times no girl it can happen to you we were just like bored like class was going on but we didn't feel like going to class and we was like fuck it like let's go get something to eat and so the way that our school was we were close to like a shopping center and the shopping center it has like a chipotle firehouse so it was like a whole bunch of like little restaurants and like you know little shopping places you can go eat you can go shop whatever you want to do it was a little town center walking distance it was not close. I mean, it was close if you are a walker. I'm not a walker. But the walk was probably like a good 30 minutes. If that. If you cut through like the woods and stuff like that. You could probably get there a little bit earlier. But if not, you know, it's going to be kind of lengthy. 
I think it was my idea. Don't get me wrong. I think it was my idea. I think I'm the one who initiated Let's Leave. And I know it's probably like, girl, what the hell? Yes, I was the one who initiated. I believe I was the one to be like, you trying to leave? Like, because I'm not trying to be here. And he was like, fuck it. He was one of the people who just, he just didn't care. Like, whatever I say, like, we'll do it. Like, whatever I want, I'll get it. Like, he was one of them. So I was like, cool. Like, you know, let's, let's skip school. I don't know what class we were supposed to be in during this time. I don't remember. But we were supposed to be in class. And it was early in the morning. It was like 9, 10 o'clock. 9, 10 o'clock. Because I remember when I got caught, it was like, the beginning of my last class so school starts at 7 45 so we were like in the middle of we only have four classes a day i remember i think so it was probably like our second period or getting ready to go into second but during our second period class clearly we didn't go so like i told y'all this walk is a long walk so in order for us to make it to there and back during our lunch time because that's the time we plan on coming back so nobody would notice like we were gone so we had to leave at an earlier time which was like nine ten o'clock so we leave or whatever and the way my school was my first school because i you know i put out but the way the school was there were so many stairwells there were so many doors you can just go in and out of like there was really no security for real like they could tell you like oh no you can't leave or you can't come in like no, nah. they have cameras, but they're not paying attention to that shit unless you get caught. So you can literally go as you please, come in, please. People do that all the time, literally. So we leave out through the gym, and we start walking. And we walk through the woods so we wouldn't be seen, we wouldn't get caught. Because if you was to walk, like, outside of the front door of the school, obviously you would get caught. So we walk through the gym door, which was, like, literally in the back, and you could literally just walk. Through, like the little woods literally across the street we walk through the back or whatever and we were just walking you know talking 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 i'm not thinking anything of like i'm not gonna get caught like i'm not thinking this but i did have a really 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 bad feeling in my stomach i'm like this is this is not gonna be good for me but i still had high hopes i still had pure intentions that this was going to go the way I planned. But y'all, when you get that intuition, that feeling in your stomach, please listen to your gut. Your gut is not going to lie to you at all. Any situation I've been in and my stomach like turn a little bit, I know for a fact some shit is getting ready to go down. Whether it's with a person, a situation, like it does not matter. A female's intuition is there for a reason. You can feel when something is off. You can feel when something is not right. And I could feel that something was off, but I didn't say anything because I'm like, you know, maybe I'm tripping. We're walking. Mind you, again, this is a long walk. So as we're walking, we're just talking. We walk past this one house. You know how houses have cameras and they have like motion sensors? So there was a motion sensor on this house. And when you walk past it, it makes a noise. Like some type of holiday noise. It was around like Christmas time too. So when we walked past this house, it made like a noise. So it kind of like startled him a little bit. Like he's like, like you know, like what the hell was that? So this dummy. He takes it. Mind you, this is not me. He takes it upon himself to walk up to the front door look in the person's house i'm like yo this dude cannot be serious i don't know what was going through this boy's mind but clearly like it, it was something that was off so mind you i'm literally like in the street still trying to go to chipotle i just want to get my food and go about my business so we're walking like on the road and we walk past this house the house makes a noise so we stop in the middle of the street but y'all the house this is me so I'm right here. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, and you can hear me saying all of this on the camera. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Get the fuck on. Come on. Like, why are you looking in these people's house? Knowing they got a camera right here. There's other houses right there. And where my school was, it was like a bunch of rich people that live here. They got these big old houses, these nice as cars, like everything. So, of course, they have cameras to avoid shit like this. Mind you, we're also the only high school in this area. After he leaves from looking through the front door, he decides to go around the back. So, I'm like, what the hell? Now, at this point, I'm in the middle of the street by myself. So, I'm like, okay, to avoid anything happening to me... Let me just go and follow him. So I follow him towards the back of the house. I don't know what he was doing. I have, I literally have no idea what this man was doing. Like I literally can't tell y'all like, oh, he planned on doing this, this and that. 
I don't know. But I plan on going to Chipotle and get my food. We leave from the back of the house. We're continuing our walk. And we actually, you know, we eventually end up going to Chipotle. So... We're walking back to the school. Everything is cool. Everything is normal. Everything is good. We didn't get caught sneaking back into the school. We didn't get caught leaving. Everything was good. So I was like, whew, all this pressure is off me. I'm good. I went to lunch. I went to my third period. And then I went to my fourth period. I go to my fourth period. I'm probably not even there for like 10 minutes. I'm in there doing my work or whatever. And we had this one, I was going to say a really bad word. We had this one annoying police officer who worked at our school and he was a real cop not security he was a police officer who worked at this school and my school was a really bad school so we needed police there like we have police at our school so he comes to our classroom and he starts talking to my teacher and i'm like this ain't for me like i knew it wasn't for me because i'm like i ain't do shit so i know he ain't coming in here for me and mind you it was people in my class who were like on house arrest stuff like that i know ghetto it was one of them schools so i'm like he probably coming to you know get one of them for their little po officer or whatever the case may be so i'm minding my business then he say tommy come here i'm like i'm like hold up i look at him i'm like what you mean come here like what you mean like he like come out like step outside he like, bring your stuff with you. I'm like, oh, shit. Mind you, in my head, I've done nothing wrong. Like, besides me skipping school, I've done nothing wrong. So I'm thinking, like, all right, I might have just got bags skipping school. This is going to be cool or whatever. I grab my stuff. I go out there, and he's talking to me. He was like, yeah, so where did you go today? And I was like, what you mean where I go today? I was, like, I, was, I was here all day. And he was like, you sure you was here all day? And I'm like, I was here all day. Like, what you mean? And he was like, so you ain't you ain't leave school today? And I was like, nah. He was like, I need you to follow me. And I'm like, follow me for what? And he was like, either I'll put you in these handcuffs and lock you up. Or you, you know, you come by me, you, you come with me willingly. I was like, no fucking way this man just threatened to lock me up at school. I'm in the ninth grade. I'm like 14, 15, and you're threatening me to lock me up? Oh, hell no. I'm not going to jail. I'm, no, I'm not on that. No, I'm like, shit. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm going to just follow him, see what he got to say, and keep it pushing. I'm like, in the back of my mind, I already know my mom going to say she's going to cuss me out. She's going to get on me if he calls my mom. So I'm like, shit, like, damn, like, I can't catch a damn break. So we walk down there and we go to this office I've never seen in the school before. It's like a, a office where you go for, I think, your late passes. But then if you go around the corner, it's like another, like, interrogation room type of thing. I'm like, oh, no. We back there or whatever. Mind you, my boyfriend, or my old boyfriend, he's, I don't know where he was at, but he wasn't, right. he wasn't with me. And I think the t policeman took my phone, so I couldn't even text him and be like, like, you know, where you at type thing. We get in there or whatever, and he was like, I'm gonna call the boy, uh, Strawberry. He gonna be like, so yeah, where did June Strawberry go today during this time? I was like, shit. At this point, he already, he already know where we at. So I'm like, we skipped, I was like, we skipped school and we were going to Chipotle. No, that's what it was, because that's what we were doing. We were going to Chipotle. He was like, you sure about that? And I was like, yeah. He turns the computer around, and he shows me this camera footage from somebody's house that states these two students i think they go to your school were trying to break in my house i was like no damn way never in my life have i ever tried to break into nobody's house never have i ever stole from anybody like i've never been on that i've never been that person i can anything i want i can go buy it myself or i can go ask my parents to go buy it for me i've never been one to break nobody's house and steal i've never i've that's just never been me i've never been on that so it called me off guard i'm like breaks in my house like what you I, you don't see nothing about me trying to go in this lady's house or none or or nothing like when i walked around the back i was just walking around there but i never once tried to touch her door or nothing me per se for strawberry strawberry was just a delinquent he was twisting the door and everything but i don't i don't know if he would have went in that house i wasn't going in there point blank period but like you know what i'm saying like i don't think his intentions either were to break somebody's house i just think he was just trying to be funny i don't know nevertheless that didn't have shit to do with me i was not touching that lady's door i didn't do nothing i was just trying to go get a 
freaking bowl from Chipotle. That was it. But I understand how it looks like you have this camera, you it's, you see people like wiggling your doorknob and shit, and you like, it's like what the hell is going on? But mind you, in the camera footage, you can clearly see me, you see me in the street yelling, come on, what are you doing? You, you hear and you see me doing all of these things, but in the midst of that, I also went around the back with him. But I'm still telling him, let's go, come on, you're dumb. I'm saying all of this on the footage. The lady um, who house it was, she calls the school and she calls, she like gets in touch with the um, police officer and she told him like, yeah, I think these students go to your school. I want to email you my video cam footage and you know, you let me know how to go about it. So she emails him the footage or whatever and he sees it. I'm like, oh yeah, I know exactly who these two people are. We go back there. He's explaining to me like, you know, how he can lock me up for trespassing because that's what she could have wanted or whatever yo like i literally didn't do anything i literally didn't do nothing i understand but at the same time i literally didn't do anything did he go in your house no he did not did i go in your house no but again like i said i could see where she's coming from but i just thought that was a stretch like nobody went in your house you didn't have to call the police like or whatever you did you have to do that after he explained everything to me i'm so mad i'm like oh my god like please can you not like it won't happen again like please whatever you do just do not call my parents and he was like oh no nah, like i'm calling your parents he was a like he was a, a nasty cop like you know how them cops just really be pressed he was one of them he was really pressed he could have let me slide like and be like you know just don't do it again like she's under the rug type shit because she wasn't the person issue for real. Like, she just wanted, like, you know, to let them know, like, these kids skipping school, like, do something about it. He like, you got the option, you want me to call your father first or your mother first? And I'm like, now I'm thinking about it, I should have called my dad first. My dad probably would have been more understanding. Even though I got in trouble with both of my parents, I feel like my dad would have been more understanding. But being as though I was, you know, with a boy, I felt like my dad would have been up here. I, I don't, like, well, my, my dad is so chill. Like, y'all, my dad, y'all won't really see my neck and my dad. Like, you know, he bought his money, he be chilling. But when my dad gets turned up, it's like the world is crashing down. And he'll keep his composure for a long time. But once he gets turned up, it's like there's no turning him down. My mom, she always up here. So I'm used to her always being up here with it and just being over the top. She ain't never level-headed. She's always up here. So my dad, like, I was like, mm, nah. I, I'm, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that smoke. But looking back on it, I probably should have called my dad. So I'm like, F it. Go ahead and call my mom. So he calls my mom. My mom is just like, Jesus, like, what the hell? I think this was my first incident that happened at the school. And after that, I just kept getting in trouble. My mom come up there. Of course, first thing she say is, hand me that phone. She takes my phone and blah, 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 blah. It was a sad day in hell for me. So after she took my phone, like, she asked me questions like, what did y'all plan on doing in that house and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, girl, I was not trying to go in this man's house. And, like, when you're in trouble, your parents are not trying to hear nothing you got to say. I'm literally telling her, like, I literally want to go to Chipotle. I understand I skipped school. I get it. But I literally just plan on going to get some freaking food and going back to school. But, again, I understand like from everyone else's point of view it looked like we had different intentions even though that's not what it was talk to my mom we go home i don't know how my mom gets this information but for some reason or some way somehow she ends up getting this lady's house information and she's like yeah like come on we getting ready go to the lady house who tried to break in i'm like i know damn well she ain't just for one said to get ready to go to the lady house. For two, I know she ain't just say we getting ready to go to the house that I tried to break into. Don't play on my top like that. Don't play on my top like that because I've never been on that. Again, I've never been on that. She ends up driving me to this lady house. Like, I was, it's just shit was so embarrassing, y'all. Like, mind you, my, my old boyfriend, his parents didn't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. Like, he didn't have to do none of this shit. He didn't. I don't think he got in trouble. Like, I'm sure he didn't. But, like... He was fine. He went home that same night, chill, played this game, whatever he had to do. Meanwhile, I'm over here at this lady's house, sitting on her couch, explaining to her how sorry I am. I'm like, shawty, like... So we get to the house. It's like three people, like an old man, old lady, and somebody else. I pray to God that they don't know who I am now, and they see this, or like, they've came across me and be like, oh yeah, that girl tried to break in my house in 2016. But no, I didn't. I did, I did not. 
So we end up going to the lady house, and my mom, like, you know, I wanted to bring her here so she can apologize for blah, 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 blah. They just doing a bunch of stupid crap. Like, she didn't have to do all that. We get there. I'm like, I apologize for walking past your house. Like, that's literally all I did. Like, I just walked past your house and walked in the backyard. And I was explaining to her, like, I was just trying to get some food. My boyfriend, like, I don't know what he was doing. He's like, it's fine, you know. I just didn't want anything to happen and blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, I saw you on my camera and I can hear you saying, like, you know, stop, what you're doing is not right. And she was like, yeah, I didn't want to have to press charges on you. Y'all, when I said I was so blown, I was so blown. When you get in trouble at school, I was also an athlete, so I cheered. Whenever I got in trouble with cheer, they was always notified. So they told them that I tried to break somebody's house. So when I got off to practice, they kept trying to make jokes, talking about some. I coach at the time was, like, trying to make jokes talking about some oh yeah you want to be grand theft auto like a whole bunch of corny shit and i'm like everybody was just blowing the hell out of me what do i have to gain from breaking somebody's house this is why i tell y'all like my past is such a like a, a whole like effed up story that people really thought i was a bad kid and thought i probably would have been in jail somewhere like it's crazy it's really crazy that my life went from that to this because it's like I used to be in trouble so much and everybody thought I was never going to have nothing going for myself and blah 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 and what about it and what about it look at me now my mom told my grandma she told my dad it was just so embarrassing I knew my intentions and I literally just wanted to get something to eat but at the end of the day I know I was wrong for leaving school for one and I know I was wrong for even you know going back in the lady's yard even though I feel like if I didn't go in her backyard I probably still would have gotten choked because of who I was hanging around all in all it's a lesson learned like you know watch who you hang around you know keep yourself out of certain situations so you don't even have to you know possibly face certain consequences like going to a random lady's house and apologizing for how you almost had to break into her house even though you didn't and they're almost getting locked up in the ninth grade because you was trespassing and like just to avoid all that just don't skip school okay i know you may do it any damn way but if you do i just ask that you you be smart about it and you know you, you do it once get it out the way and just don't ever do it again growing up like you're gonna test the wars a little bit but just learn from my mistakes like my stories just scare you guys that's what I want. I want my show to scare you guys so that you can not make the same mistakes that I do. That I did. That is a story time on how I almost got arrested at the age of 14 for breaking and entering into somebody's house. Which I did not do. But here I stand. No record. Clean slate. Baby, I am good. I am great. I am living and I am making that money. And I'm about to go home. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. I love y'all so much. If y'all want to hear more story time about my old life... Let me know, and I'll give y'all more stories. But I love y'all so much. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye!